So have you seen um, a lot of deals falling out lately because of employment or what are you seeing on your end? In the very beginning, when all this happened, we did see uh, some pullback on the purchase side, right? We saw some people pull back and pause and say they want to test this out as they understand a little bit more about, you know, what is this pandemic that we're in, but also how is it going to impact their their job? They just wanted to, to, to pause. So we did see an initial pullback, but I'm telling you, man, there are plenty, there's so many buyers out there that understand this is still a great time uh, to buy. I mean, you look at um, you look at interest rates, right? They're they're incredibly low, incredibly low. I mean, just 18 months ago, we're sitting at 4.75. Today, we're getting interest rates that could be in the high twos to low threes, wow. uh, depending on what the consumer's wanting uh, on the on their loan, on their interest rates, what their credit scores are. But I mean, they're they're getting some amazing amazing low interest rates. They're starting to realize, you know what? That rate, whether it's 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 two point nine nine, it's three point five, is is a whole lot lower than the interest rate that I pay when I'm renting, which is a hundred percent. They get it in the fact that, look, appreciation. We've been trending in, in, in the Collin, um, Collin County, D, or, or in the DFW. When you look at the whole metroplex as a whole, about four point two two percent on on home appreci- price appreciation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, we're, we're forecasting out it's going to be a little bit different because of what we're going through right now. It's still going to be up 2.56% is what we projected over, over the next couple of years. Now, we may take a little bit of a setback and only appreciate 1.5% uh, in, this, in this upcoming year, but know that that's still appreciation. We're not talking negative, right? We're not talking anything negative. We're still adding to one's uh, value of their home. So the buyers that are really smart are seeing, you know what, it's still a great time to buy. We're going to get low interest rates. We're still going to get maybe even a better deal because some sellers are willing to negotiate because they need to sell now that they're getting a better overall um, ownership cost over the period of time they're going to keep it. Um, yeah, I, I just still think it's a great time and, and buyers are really realizing that. Yeah, no, I agree with you 100%. We're seeing it on both sides, like for the sellers. Um, we're seeing the highly motivated being, you know, out in the marketplace right now. So like you said, there's sellers that want to sell, you know, um, and there's buyers, you know, we're seeing a little bit of a seller's market in the sense of there's not a ton of inventory because some people have pulled back a little, but these sellers are willing, you know, to do what it takes to get the houses sold. So I think it's a win-win on both sides. It is. And, and, and the seller realizes, yeah, the seller realizes that the buyers and you see is the buyers that are in the market buying today, they're, they're good buyers. They're motivated right. buyers. They're good credit buyers because, hey, it's pivoted a little bit, right? We talked a little bit about the credit policy changing. So these buyers are qualified buyers. So they know that they got a real deal on their hands when they get an offer. Yeah. yeah I think the big thing, guys, is um, going back to, you know, should you buy or, or, or should you rent? Um, you know, when you rent, you get you do not get appreciation and you do not get forced savings. What I mean by that is, like I said, appreciation, if we're projecting, let's say, a two and a half to three percent appreciation rate, that that is free money that you're going to realize when you sell that home. Right. So you're getting more value um, over time because of that. And at the same time, when you rent, when you make a pay, rent payment, you don't get any of that forced savings, meaning the principal reduction. Um so when you do that, you're still going to pick up a significant amount of money when you when you buy. So you're looking at a three hundred thousand dollar home. I mean, there's a good chance over a nine year period or seven year period, you're going to pick up sixty, seventy thousand dollars in in just overall positivity when it comes to um, the the uh, the appreciation and the forced savings, even after you count. Um, the delta in what you would be paying in rent versus the mortgage payment, and then whatever other costs you had when you sell the house. Uh, I mean, it, it's still sixty, seventy thousand dollars of of true savings. So uh, it does it does make sense. And if you're out there thinking about it, uh, it definitely makes a, a, a prudent, wise decision to to explore it. Uh, contact you know me from a mortgage standpoint. You can go to bobmortgage.com, build a profile. 
schedule a meeting with me. We can have a quick uh, Zoom chat and we can start determining what your options are, what your qualifications look like. That way you can get with Tyrion and the team and, and get out there and see what opportunities, what deals are out there to be had for you to be able to buy today. Yeah, and we can show you everything virtually. Um, that's our first step is to sit down and look at everything. Most of the stuff, we create a single property website that has everything included on that website. So we'll view it together. It'll have all the video, it'll have all the pictures, it'll have a complete property description, um, the school district ratings and information. We'll be able to pull um, a mortgage calculator so you can kind of see around about what your payment would be. We'll have a map view, a street view, and a bird's eye view. We have all that in one place. Um, so that's how we're doing our appointments. And, uh, you know, I have I bought my first house. I think I was either 20 or 21. And um, in my mind, it was a good investment because I still own that home today. Um, and I've made a lot of money. So it turned into a rental for me. Um, but I always saw value in putting my money in the dirt, you know, um, because my money was safe in the dirt and now somebody's paying, um, and I'm receiving income off of that same property. Um, so there's, there's so much opportunity. Um, if you have questions, you don't have to be like, Set. You don't have to have all the answers and know that this is what you want to do right now. But if it's something that you're thinking about and if, if you don't own a home or, or, and you're paying for somebody else's investment, now is a great time. I mean, Bob said the rates are between in the twos and threes. So that means you're spending less money and in interest. It's cheaper to borrow money right now, um, opposed to if you waited like a year and say those rates go up to five and a half or six percent, you're getting less home. You know, you're paying more in interest to borrow that money. So you don't have to have everything all planned out and figured out. That's what we're here for. We're here to lead you and guide you. And there's no pressure. You know, we're we're professionals and we're gonna provide the information so that you can make the best decision for you and your family. Um, so if you have questions, you can reach out to either one of us. It's always good to be around you, Tierney. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You too. Thanks so much, Bob. All right. Take care. You too. Stay safe.